Hey guys, it's Crosby here, and today we're doing another Tekken tutorial. Uh, this time I have a special guest who helped me out with this one. It was his idea. Please welcome Brian GW. He's a good friend of mine. And today we're going to be showing you the Blaze Powder. Um, blaze is a really easy way to get diamonds using Blaze Powder, condensers, and macerators, plus an energy source of any kind. For now we have solar panels, which will mean we need to turn it to night. I mean day. Okay, you got... <laughs> Alright, yeah. so first off, I'm going to teach you how to craft all this stuff you see right here, which you'll be need. First of all, you're going to need uh, each three type of, each, these three type of transport pipes. So, this is not how you craft them, but you see how it's in a line like this with glass, and then to a side, that's how you craft it without any of this. So basically, we need iron, we need cobblestone, and we need wind pipes. Now you got that. You're gonna to make the master. You're gonna need a machine block, and that just is easy. It requires um, refined iron all around the in edges of the crafting table. You get refined iron by smelting iron in first. Yeah. Yes, you do. Thank you for mentioning that. Then we have a redstone engine. This is our source to power the pipes. As you can see, this will cause the items to move into um, more machines so you're going to really need these for any of this to work and you need wood lots of wood for this a piston and a glass so any type of wood on the top yeah it can use any type of wood so don't worry about having the same wood about that then we have a bit bit challenging thing to make the low voltage array as you can see it requires solar panels and if i go into recipe mode real fast because i don't feel like you know building it um and you don't need to use solar panels you can use any sort of power yeah so if you think this was way too much and i'll show you why you might think that because you have to make all of these just to make so yeah you gotta make all of these just to make one solar panel and then you need nine solar panels wait no not eight sorry eight solar panels to make one just one low voltage array so Solar, pa solar power may not be the best choice unless you're really high to tech it. Just saying. For now, I will stick to like hydropower or something. But yeah, that's the way to go if you want really fast. Alright, next up we have a condenser. And this is a very critical. You're going to need two of these. And it requires obsidian and diamonds and alchemical chest. And how to make the alchemical chest? It's a uh, pretty. I want to say simple, but you know. It's kind of diamond consuming. Yeah. It's pretty diamond consuming. <coughs> this is a, you need uh, each covalence dust, a diamond, a chest, and then, as you can see, you need covalence dust with a diamond coal to make the blue one, and so on. Now we have Macerator, the easy machine. This is really, this is actually a pretty simple thing to make. You can probably make this on your third day tech it if you've done pretty, really good so basically we have three flint a machine block like we have over there and two cobbles around it with an electrical circuit and real fast we're gonna move on to the glass fiber cables you don't need to use glass fiber cables you can use copper cables but copper cables they lose energy so we decided to set it up with glass fiber cables for now yes and the thing about glass fiber cables, though, you see these? These are glass fiber cables. The white. The thing about them, though, they are pretty diamond consuming. And the fact that you need one diamond to make only four. So, remember, guys, glass fiber cables, do that if you're kind of rich on tech it and stuff. Alright, now we have a bat box. Really easy to make. All you need is batteries, some wind planks, and a couple cable to make that. And that will be your. Um, st energy storage, as you can see, this is where all the solar panels are going energy and it's maxed out, so if you ever want to upgrade it, I recommend doing that. And last but not least, something not a lot of people know about in tech distribution, transport pipes. This is the RDs, and basically, as you can see, the blaze powder is coming up and then going to both. With these pipes, it allows them to go into both condensers, so just one. So now that we showed you how to craft all this stuff, we're going to show you how this method works. Alright, first off, you just start with one blaze rod. That's all you need, one blaze rod. Two blaze rods. Oh, two, sorry. It depends on how many mass rays you have. But you actually no. need two. You need one for the energy condenser, and you need one for the mass rays. Oh, yeah. 
Sorry, I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> and basically, you want to put one in the master and one in the energy condenser. And then also, you want to have something in the other energy condenser. For example, diamonds. This will get you lots of diamonds. Something helpful, not useless. <laughs> not like cobblestone or anything. Okay, so now what you gotta do is basically hook up the macerators to the condensers like this. And then, as you see the... And so with the macerator, when you put a blaze rod in there... It'll make four blaze powder. Yes. But so, all, you only need two blaze powder to make a blaze rod. You can use the rest to make diamonds or whatever. Exactly. So you see as the blaze powder cuts basically in half and goes two to two. If you look into the distribution pipe by using right click, you can see how it's set up. Yeah, I'll show that in a second, but I also want to show you. So, so basically, so then as you see, um, and it just goes around a cycle, basically giving you infinite EMC as long as you have a power source. And now, um, another thing we can show you is the how, how the pipes are set up. If you right click on the distribution pipe, you'll see that we have the red on two, I mean not red, sorry, green on two, and yellow on two. It doesn't exactly have to be that color, like, it has to be the color on the side that it's going to, like, for instance, to this condenser, it's the green side, and to that condenser, it's the yellow side. Yep, exactly. <coughs> so, yeah, I also remember to have that set up, and then we have some over here as well, because we need uh, the blaze rods to go back to that macerator, so... It's the same thing for this, but this time it's just one. And that is the blaze powder condenser thingamajiggy, I don't know what I'm calling it. Exploit. Exploit, yes. It's a very efficient way to get EMC. Hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. Then again, thank Brian, GW, for helping us out with this. Yay! And if you guys got any ideas for what the next tutorial video should be, just comment below. I'll see you guys later. Bye.